Hi everybody, Monty here. Skill Builder Week, okay? We're trying to build some math skills. So, on Tuesday in class, we worked on solving for a variable, okay? Draw the little fence. What's the opposite of a plus? A minus. Subtract from both sides. Remember, I'm an equal sign, and whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other, otherwise it's unbalanced. So we draw the line. We still have the x, 3 minus 3 goes away, leaving us with the equal sign, and 20 minus 3 is 17. Okay, bad looking 7, I heard. Okay, next one, a little bit more complicated. What's the opposite of a minus? A plus. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. Got to keep it equal. Okay, 7 minus 7 goes away, leaving us with the 2x, leaving us with the equal. Uh, 32 plus 7 is 39. What's the opposite of multiply? What's the opposite of multiply? How do you undo a multiplication? Divide. We divide both sides by 2. When we do that, 2 divided by 2 gives us 1x, right? The 1x. And that's equal to 939 over 2, which is what? Uh, the, 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 the 20, 20, 19.5? All right. Okay. Next one. We're really complicating it now. Remember in class, how do we get rid of parentheses? Parentheses means multiply. Parentheses means to distribute. We have to distribute the 9 to the x. We have to distribute the 9 to the 4, which gives us 36, okay? Unfortunately, that's a skill we got to have this year because when we do area, length times width, we do that. We still have the equal sign. We still have the 6. Now, we continue the process to solve. What's the opposite of a minus? Add 36 to both sides. Draw our line, and 36 minus 36 is 0. We accomplished our goal, leaving us with 9 x's. We still have the equals. We still have the 36. What's the opposite of multiply? 9 times x. The opposite of multiply is divide. Okay, divide both sides by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1, so I have 1x, and it's equal to 36 divided by 9. In this case, we have an even round number. It's a whole number. It's 4, okay? Need help? Come see me in access time. Okay, let's go on to the next problem. Now, today in class, we're going to work on substitute, replace, Solve. Okay? Now what I mean by that is we have an equation. Okay? We're given this equation. And we keep the y. We're changing the y1. Okay? We have a y1 and an x1. There's your x1. There's your y1. So when I get to y1, I'm going to use this 0. Minus 0. Equals. Now we've got an m. Remember, in math, the universal letter for slope is the letter m. m equals the slope, and in this case, down 3 over 4. Down 3 over 4. Down 3 over 4. Negative 3 over 4. As I rewrite, I substitute. I replace the letters with the numbers that we were given, okay? All right, now, parenthesis, x minus, now we got to go back and find what's x1, what's x1, what is x1, 4, boom, substitute, replace, solve. We need to be able to write equations mathematically. If you want to continue on, you can. 
y, we can leave the zero off because it doesn't mean anything, right? And now we're going to practice the distributive property, okay? So the next thing we practiced in class today, go to the next page. There's another practice, rewrite, practice, rewrite, practice, rewrite. Now we want to actually practice solving for the letter Y. Okay, parentheses. Parentheses means to distribute. So negative 3 times the X, negative 3 times the 2. So we have Y plus 4 equals negative 3X, negative 3 times a positive 2 is negative 6. Now we've got to isolate the Y. We want Y by itself. We want to move a positive. What's the opposite of a positive? A negative. Line them up, like terms with like terms. Okay. 4 minus 4 goes away, leaving us with the y, leaving us with an equals, leaving us with a negative 3x, leaving us with negative 10. If negative numbers bothers you, go to your calculator. Okay. Once you have your calculator on, Okay, we can go negative 6, so we have a 6, whoops, 6, but change the sign, minus a 4 gives us negative 10, or 6 negative plus 4 negative gives us a minus 10. Either way, practice simplifying, okay? So if you could do one of each of those on each page, just do one on each page as practice, this is Skill Builder Week. Feel free to come see me in access time for more help. This is what we did in class. You have a solo activity. Try one on each page. I'm Monty. See you soon. Thursday!